Hello Divas, it's me, back again. Um, in today's video, I want to discuss facts, not fiction. This is for the people in the back back who I don't understand where they get their information from. They're getting it from a source and not the horse. Horse's mouth, that is. Um, for a couple of days now, and I've been on different platforms just listening in, and it's being said that um, Latrice did so much for all these people that they owe her because she took care of them. Mm, no. So tonight what I want to do is I'm going to break it down person by person. Now, there's a lot of people that she has wronged. So I'm only going to name a few, and those are the ones that most of y'all know um, and a lot of y'all still speak on to this day. So here we go. The first one I want to speak on is Diamond. Now, Diamond... If y'all didn't know, all of this is on videos, whether um, they've been erased or not. I've personally seen all these videos, so I'm only stating facts. I heard it out of the horse's mouth myself, and I seen it. Um, when Diamond came around, Diamond had a job. She always had a job the whole time. She worked at a warehouse, and she was so happy about her job. Um, she didn't stop working, I don't think, until she got monetized on her page if I'm not mistaken but she did work that's all I know um so she definitely didn't come around with a motive Diamond had been around uh trees for years ever since trees moved to Atlanta um if you go back trees always used to say that Diamond was the first person she met and she was struggling at the time and Diamond gave her the last $20 she had to her name to help her and her kids when they were struggling. I call that a friend. Now, y'all going to talk, keep continuing to talk about Trees paying for Diamond's son's funeral. That's not true. Trees did a video when she went to the funeral home. She was scared to death to go in the funeral home because she said she's scared of dead people. So she wouldn't get out the car. She was outside in the parking lot screaming and hollering for someone to come out of the funeral home to come take her payment because she was there to put a few dollars down to help Diamond. Now, Diamond paid for her son's funeral. After Diamond's um, son's funeral, Diamond is from Alabama. So she wanted to have her son move to Alabama to get buried at, at home. And she was a little short, I guess, on that. I don't know. Or Therese offered to help her. But Therese helped with that. So, no, she never paid for the whole funeral. And, again, she did a video on it. Then y'all go out, go on, excuse me, to continue to talk about this gun situation. Well, when the gun situation first came about, Diamond said that it was with the police. And guess what? I believe her. Because we haven't heard anything else about this gun. And if it was so bad the way Trees made it out to be, Diamond would be locked up. But guess what? Diamond's out here. And she can't be hiding and running because she's on the internet every day. She fell out with Diamond because Diamond didn't show up when she wanted her to. And before that, I don't feel like she was being such a friend to Diamond anyway because... Therese didn't go to Diamond's son's funeral, nor the vigil she had. The first one that she fell out with publicly and dogged her. Now, the second person, Danita. Danita also has a job. Had a job the whole time she was around Therese. Never seen her ask Therese for anything. Um... Hell, Danita used to come over there and comb, just to comb and grease Trees' hair and do anything that she needed her for, come to the warehouse and all. Mind you, Trees tried to get her to quit her job to come work at the warehouse, but Danita wasn't having it. Now, the reason she fell out with Danita, Trees wanted to go out one night. 
she couldn't take the kids where she thought she was going to take them to the bowling alley skating ring. Um, they said it was too late. It was adults only. She said Danita lived right around the corner. She was going to take the kids to Danita so she could come back. Well, Danita said she had to work early. She couldn't do it. So guess what? She fell out with her and dogged her too. The next person, Coco Chanel. She got mad at her for not moving fast enough. She texted her and told her she was no longer needed. Now, mind you, Coco Chanel was running that warehouse by herself day in and day out on, alone. She didn't have help like the other ones had. But the moment she didn't do what she wanted her to do, she dogged her too. Next person, Chef Anthony. He came there. He worked in that warehouse because Ashley is his cousin and brought him there because Treese was asking for help. He came in, redid that whole warehouse, put things in order. Went to Texas with her to help her. Drove a U-Haul all the way to Texas while she flew to help her to feed the homeless down there. Did numerous of things for her. But the moment she was having a pop-up shop and he had a family emergency and couldn't make it right then and there, but said that he would try his best and if he couldn't get food to everyone, he would refund them, in which he did. And he still showed up with food. She didn't like that. She got on live and called him everything but a child of God. She made everybody believe that that man was a crackhead. The same thing she did to Coco. And then after bashing him, she texts him and tells him he's fired as well. Let's move on to Keisha T. Rest her soul. These are all videos, mind you. I got these all from watching her over the years. Now, she called Keisha T crying to come because Coco had left her. Now, mind you, she's telling everybody that she left Coco, but she told Keisha T on the phone that Coco left her. Keisha T risked herself to come because she was being a true friend. Yes, she got her eyes fixed for her, but that's what she had promised her to do for her um, over the phone if Keisha T came. Keisha T told her she was going through some issues and she said, just come friend, I need you, just come friend and I'll help you. And then of course, <clears throat> after a while, Keisha T went to go with one of her friends one day she got mad with her, and she texted her and told her not to come back. Next, we're going to move on to C. She called C crying about losing her business. C dropped what she was doing, her job and all, and came. And as soon as C needed to go home to see about her brother, who was having some health issues, and couldn't do what Treese wanted her to do right then and there, like all the rest of them. She texted her and told her not to come back. But mind you, she always spoke so highly of C. And KT. And Diamond. And Danita. And B. Next. B. She called B when she called C, crying about the business failure. B left her job to help a friend. Trees promised her an apartment, $20 an hour, to be the manager of the business, and she would get the 401k so that B could transfer her 401k to, that, to her business. Of course, that never happened. So the business was slow. 
So B started working around the house, taking care of Rennie, anything she could do for pay. So that money that she gave her for Christmas, Teresa said out her own mouth that B deserved it because of all she had done for her and her being a good friend. Then the moment B went to go check on her family and visit her new granddaughter, Tree seen her hanging out with friends, which was normal. If you go some back home somewhere that you haven't been for a while, you're going to run into people. But that had nothing to do with her. So what are you mad for? And what'd she do? She texted B and told her not to come back. You guys, the moral of this story is Teresa not, did not do for these people. They did for her. What part are y'all missing? We all know Teresa likes to buy stuff. That's just what she does. And she tips everybody. If you come over there and you do a job for her, not friends, just random people that she hired, business people, she always tips them. I'm going to give you a good tip. Just come on, come on, come on. I'm going to give you a good tip. Come on, come on. Because she feels once that she does that, that they are forever indebted to her. And if you don't come through when she wants you to, you're dead to her. Then she gets online and she dogs you. She always try to befriend people who are not, who are like beneath her. Well, don't have as much money as her, let me say. So she can try and control people with her money. She loves people to need her. Okay? Now, with that being said, why do these people keep saying that Teresa took care of all these people? And they all come to, to they all came to bail her out at some point in time. What part did they not watch? Or did they turn a blind eye to that just to be on her side? Because for me, anytime I go anywhere and work, I expect a paycheck. She didn't call these people to come hang out and have a good time with her. She called all of them for help. And she offered them all some type of compensation to come. So stop with the bull. She has a history, y'all, of falling out with everybody. We all see it. When they are not there at her every beck and call, period. In my opinion, none of them came with a motive. They were all sent for. So stop it. You can't make her out to be anybody but who she is. Okay? And again, I'm not bashing her. I'm just pointing out the things that people seem to Again, turn a blind eye to and a deaf ear. I have been watching Trees for years and she was okay with me. But I'm going to tell you what the straw that broke the camel's back for me is when she did what she did to her son on live. I cried for that boy. And I would never forgive her for that one. And I do pray that she gets the help that she needs. You guys, that's all for now. I will be back. Until then, have a great day.